medium graphics yes welcome back to my youtube tutorial if you are new to this channel can you subscribe like and share my video and if you are already a subscriber thank you very much for coming back and have a great day yes today i just want to take you through on how to create a digital signature a digital signature yes and you can use this particular signature to to do a whole lot of things yes if maybe you are to apply a job and you need to you know pen your signature you, you have to print it out pen your signature scan it back and hold on you know it's waste much of time but if uh, if you are able to create your own digital signature it means that it will be a soft copy and but it will not be a, a hard writing hard copy for you but it just be a soft copy and you can make it two different types you can make it black you can make it any color you know and it's going to look beautiful and you can also make it looks like a pen color like that kind of blue color yes you can do it you can use it as that yes so let's just go into photoshop and this is the file that i'm going to use and i have this uh sign in this particular this thing is for client and he asked me to create some this thing for him a digital signature for him and this is the process of doing that so before you get your uh, your digital signature being able to do in photoshop you have to sign in sometimes you can sign about 100 and you choose beautiful one or you can just uh, sign about three or one if you are good like this person he's very good and he just start uh, sign only one and it's beautiful so after doing this you just scan it you when you have a scanner you scan it as a jpeg that's picture form and if you don't have any scanner just use your phone but correct phone and just snap it and then in and just upload it to your photo and just upload it to your pc then you can now move it to photoshop and do the magic so let's just go into it and let's get it done so we have just come to our photoshop like this and the next thing i have to do is to go in and open that particular image and that particular image that i want to use so this one will open it just like this so the next thing i have to do is that the, all these things i don't need it all this i don't need it i only need the signature over there so i'll just come over and crop it out and cropping it i'll just crop it like this okay when i crop like that i'll click okay so means that i now have something like this over there you get that so i can go over and click on image then i'll come to image size to see the image size and it's for okay the five by seven and i'll just leave it that because i don't need more this than on that and i will have it like this okay so the next thing i have to do is that before i have something like this over there then there are so many steps that you can do but i want to use only one step or how to do it in one step like for is like i just want to give you one tip on how to get it done and this one they need it to be in black they don't want it to be in this color so for instance i'm not going to teach you to make it look like this maybe in tutorial next or maybe if you are willing to to for me to show you how to do it then you have to contact me or you just have to tell me on the, the comments box then i'll do it for you simple thank you so the next thing i have to do is to go to image then i'll come to adjustment then i'll move to uh threshold threshold is just here you see threshold after if after event uh after event and portrait and if a uh, well, threshold then i'll click on threshold you see the magic you see that it has already make the, the background let me just close the preview this is the preview this there is the normal and there is the preview and it has already make it you see that it makes the background white so what i need to do is to just either when i move in like this you see that is it will remove everything but i need the signature so i just have to keep moving keep moving keep moving you get that so what i'm doing i will check in my signature to see that all of those things has just come out you get that yes so this one will just make it one six five 165 and everything has appeared like this like that everything has just appeared and i love it that way then the next thing i have to do is i'll just click ok because they did it in black so that's all so i'll just zoom in and pick my uh, brush tool there are some dot dots that is there i just have to cancel it because i don't want it to be there if it is there it's not professionally yes and i'll have it like that and then there are those things i'll just clean it up just like that okay yes clean it up 
so let me just fast forward the video so that i'll clean up those areas and uh we can move on oh i think the, the this is not that big so i think this one will be okay for me yes and then when i have something like this i you can see that everything has changed so the next thing i have to do is to remove the background yes sometimes you can leave it but professionally remove the background so i'll come and pick a ma i'll come and pick a magic wall tool over here and then i'll click on the background so it has moved like that so when i click on the background what i need to do is that i'll just click delete press delete so that it will delete away this way but you can see that there is still some on this one so the next thing i have to do is to click on those white things then i'll hold shift so that add add so i'll add those selection i'll just select those white places in the sorry i'll just select those white spaces there and then i'll click delete to delete it and there will still be some here i'll click that one then i click this one then i click that one and then i delete it and there is some here too i'll click the over there then i hold my shift and click those white white areas and then i'll just delete it away so that is the process of creating a, a digital signature in photoshop yes and after that i think i've done yes and in this thing you can change it to different colors but going to adjustment this thing and then go to solid color and uh you can uh, do it but you can create a clipping mask on it and you can change any color if you need it to be that the same color over there you can't make it that way you see the same color as paint yes and it's going to be beautiful easy girl. but the person needed in black then when i have something like this it has done like this so the next thing i have to do is to go to file come to export for this one i have to export it then i'll come to save for web legacy then i'll click it so that one you watch it and you see that it will save as png yes so that you can use it everywhere so the process here you come and choose png 24 png 24 and that's exit then you save yes and when you come here you call it you take it now signature sorry just leave it that way then i can have it like this so it means that it has just saved into my distance like that and over there i can find it over here and let's you see it won't come up because it's what because it's jpeg but this particular thing was there but it was white it is it, is the white is still there in that particular area just like this so if you want to remove those white you just have to add a color which is black then you bring it down like this and then you just zoom it out this particular white then you remove it so that your everything will be beautiful okay yes and you have to have it like that so let's change it to white and let's see the magic so this is how we create digital signature in photoshop and you can use it in microsoft word you can use it in any place that you have to sign maybe you have to sign and you if you have something like this you don't need to sign and and print it out and then do those kind of you know waste of time this is how you can do it thank you very much for watching this is abm graphics and have a nice day bye bye